hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video uh, we are going to check a basic crud operation which is the create read update and delete operation in jsf and we are using the backend as mysql and let's start there so i'm going to show you the project this project here where i can add a value here uh, i'm just adding india and if i click add so I can add it, I can go to edit and I am uh, writing is USA, I can update it and even I can delete it, okay. So I am going to, uh, I have uh, connected my MySQL database here with this one. So I am going to show you the basic CRUD this project. First, uh, let me create a new project, JSA project. So it's Java web and web application, just click next. And here in the project name, I am giving it as a CRUD. Uh, JSF and just click in all of this I'm uh, selecting it as a default just click next and here I'm uh, taking the server as a patch and just click next and now in the framework I'm going to use uh, Java server faces just click on that or I'm not using any any other framework here just basic Java server faces and uh, all the configuration I'm putting it at default and just click finish it will take some time uh, to create your first project okay our project has been loaded now this is our index page now in, in this index page I am going to create a small uh, form through which we will read uh, update and delete data from uh, the MySQL table so I'll show you our MySQL table I have a database named uh, test and inside there there is a, a table named categories and uh, the category data is this one and five uh, five categories the these are the categories now i'm just creating a form and a data table just to view this table in in our page and we can update the data directly from uh, the page here okay now let me create a uh, small form here first let me give a center tag here uh, center tag here and inside there I'm just giving a header so it is h2 and uh, I'm just giving categories okay now I'm just uh, giving a form here through which we can add a data to uh, the database so it's uh, a basic HTML form inside there I'm uh, giving as ender category and here I'm just uh, giving a form uh, input text and just a submit uh, button here so it will be it's colon command button and the value I'm just giving it as uh, submit no I'm giving it as a okay so I have to create a small form here just a, a uh, in a text box here so I'm going to uh, update the code if I click the add a data is to be inserted uh, into this uh, table okay uh, let me run this and uh, see the output how it looks so just uh, right click on index.xstml and just click run file so it will take some time for the first run just wait for that yes uh, the project has been run as you can see uh, there is a small form here and an add button here if I click add it will uh, nothing happens it will return uh, to the same page because we didn't give any action tag here okay now I am going to create a small uh, in the source packages I am going to create a package and uh, the package name I am giving it as com dot uh, dot com and inside that I am going to create a, a bean class so it's actually a JS of managed bean just click on JS of managed bean so it's a name I'm giving it as a category just click enter so I have created the uh, JS of managed bin here now I'm going to uh, you can see the managed bin and request code annotation here I'm going to create uh, a variable here it's actually private uh, string category name okay so just uh, put the get action setters for that set a uh, name and get name sorry set uh, get uh, category name okay 
so I have uh, put the uh, getters and setters for that and uh, next I want to write a small function here through which we will update the database so before I'm going for that we should add uh, the DB connection class here through which we will set our database credentials and then we connect to the database now I'm going to create a uh, connection class here so actually a Java class I'm giving the class name as uh, DB connection and just click enter now inside this uh, I'm just creating a uh, public method which is returning a connection of the database uh, I'm giving the name as get connection and uh, sorry it is get connection and the connection is from uh, uh, java.sql connection actually so we have, we have set the connection here now create a connection object and connection connection equal to null okay now just write a return connection here okay so there won't be any return type error okay now we are getting a try catch block here because uh, there is possibility of uh, exception through the uh, JDBC connection so I'm just uh, giving a small uh, try catch block and uh, a method uh, to print the uh, exception if any so inside this what you have to write is uh, class dot for name so it's uh, actually the URL of that so it's a uh, com dot mysql dot jdbc dot uh, driver okay and just end this one and we should import uh, no there is no need to import now get the connection uh, through this URL so connection is equal to driver uh, manager dot get connection we have to give the URL complete path of it's a uh, uh, jdbc jdbc colon uh, mysql colon the host uh, the port name 3306 slash uh, the database name so we are going to connect the database name test here you can see here test and then you have to give the username and password for your database so it's uh, in my case it's root and the password is root okay now we are all set uh, to test the connection to for testing uh, the connection I am just giving a main method here uh, public static void main and I am just creating a, a object of this connection class okay now I am just uh, calling uh, the connection so system dot out dot println dot uh, print ln and I'm just calling the get connection here so dot get connection so if uh, the connection is successful it should return a string value with the connection, connection information if uh, uh, the connection is fail it should return uh, is success fail it is return a null value now to test that I'm going to oh, run this as uh, Java project let's see yes you can see uh, it has returned a connection information here which means uh, the connection is successful uh, already connection is successful here and uh, now I'm going to this uh, category sections and I'm going to write a code uh, to get the all the categories first and then we'll go for insertion okay create a, a method to get all the uh, uh, get all the um, category so it's basically a list so list uh, of categories list of categories and uh, the name is get all category okay now just uh, go inside uh, first I'm giving a try catch block here also because see, there is possibility of uh, throwing exception of our database connection uh, 
just press control space and uh, import it from java util and now i am going to create a connection class here connection object okay connection same is from uh, uh, java sql and connection connection equals null and now i am going to create a small statement here uh, let it be let it be inside the try catch and this also so it's a statement uh, st equal to connection dot create statement okay so inside this have we had to write the query for that so this is also let it import this from sql oops sorry uh, the query is not inside this one should be an execute query so uh, have created the statement now we have to take that uh, value or oh, uh, we have to write uh, the result set here to take the value from database so result set rs equal to st dot statement dot execute query and we have to give uh, the query here it is uh, select star from what is the name of the database it's a category is okay select star from categories so we have written uh, the query to take the data to the result set now let me iterate this one and uh, put a uh, rs dot next and get all the values and uh, uh, give an object here inside this uh, while loop okay and uh, each object should have the value of uh, the data so get category in, uh, no set category name equal to rs dot get string category name here same way uh, the serial number also so set sl number now we have not given the cell number here so just use the cell number also here okay cell number so just put the get and set just for that set sl number and get sl number now put it here set esl is r dot get string sl number okay so it will take the sl number now uh, we have to add this to the list here so i'm going to create an array list for that list list of uh, categories equal to a uh, new array list okay so it's of category object and uh, close the braces now yeah so we have we can add this uh, object to the list here add obj category so each time uh, it is iterating it will take the uh, value and it will add to the category here now i'm going to return no we'll return the array list from here okay uh yeah just return return uh, the list of categories here okay list of categories here now we are wait mm, can I find the symbol list of okay we'll declare this outside and now here as you can see we are catching the exception so we should have a uh, should print the uh, exception to get the output if any exception we should see that now e. there is an error here yes it's because we declared tense list let me change it to array list okay now the all things are said i guess uh, what is this warning okay no problem 
oops we have missed one thing we didn't uh, call the db connection object and uh, get the connection here so and let me take the db class object and uh, get the connection here equals the get connection okay get connection so we have get the connection here now we are all set uh, to write uh, this function i mean uh, i'll take uh, this um, call this method from the index page and just print out all the values uh, from the database so going back to index page okay so it's uh, h colon uh, data table i'm going to create the table here so inside the data table uh, we need to import the code tag library which is the facet so i have uh, just imported the code tag library in my header now inside this one let me open a column for column for our table so it's a column okay so inside this column we'll specify our facet header so it's a f colon uh, facet and the name is actually header okay so just finish this off and uh, let me open up one more column here i'm going to give the header name as sl number and the this header name as category okay now uh, yes we have to set uh, the values for uh, the table i mean it will be value and uh, it's uh, directly taken from our method which method it is get all category so it's a jazz of manage bean category so it's from um, category and category dot get all category okay so we have you have to give a variable name as where and i'm giving the variable name as uh, cat okay now i can call directly the output text with that variable name so it's uh, colon output text and uh, here i'm giving the variable name as uh, the output as value value is a uh, cat dot sl num cat dot sl number it will be cat dot sl number okay and same way our this output name will be cat dot category name okay yes we are all are set to run uh, the rerun the project let's rerun the project and see the output now going to run it just right click on index and just click run file now just wait for the running no there is an error it's uh, get all category is not found yes i think uh, we have done some mistake here it is uh, getting get all category not found because yes it will be checking for wait i'll show you what is the error now let me give it a getter so yeah the method name will be if uh, see in this index page it is uh, checking for get all category so it's reading it as a variable actually so it is, will be looking for get all category of the getter of this get all category so i'll show you how to get rid of that error coming back to here let me create a a category same uh, a private variable same with same name and uh, just give get okay now this should be the name of uh, this method okay now let me delete this string here now everything will be okay it seems now going back to a project let me refresh it let me rerun the project
okay on uh, rerunning the project uh, the values has been taken from the database as you can see uh, this is same as uh, the data from my database now i am going to write as more uh, methods to add if i click add i should add the data and uh, there should be a delete and delete option for uh, the table the data uh, from the table okay now okay clear let me write a small method here to add data to the table so yeah let me copy paste this one and then update uh, the values inside that so here uh, the name I'm uh, rewriting as add category okay I'm just rewriting it as add category I don't want any return type here let me delete uh, this array list from here and uh, return also from here now I'm just I don't want a result set here uh, it's uh, okay I'll yeah I'll write the query here itself mm, insert into category it's just uh, what is the name of the table insert into categories insert into category oops wait insert into category what is the problem insert into categories and the name is a category name uh, the name of uh, uh, the column and the value I am giving it as uh, from here it's uh, directly I am taking from the manage bean so it's uh, category name okay so it will execute this query inserted I don't want any result set here I am just writing the code for that execute query okay so should return uh, it should return uh, successful after uh, successfully it should uh, return the success message I am not going to give a success message also here now going back to our index page in we have given a command button here so I'm giving an action tag to this one and I'm copying no yeah I'm copying all these to here to this action and uh, the action as uh, add category okay we don't need the braces here I'll delete that so if everything is successful it should run now let me rerun the project there is no need to rerun let me refresh and let's see the output okay now i'm just adding a value genu java and I'm clicking air no there is something error let me go back to the tomcat what is error coming okay it is uh, cannot data manipulation you cannot do with the uh, you cannot do with the, the statement query so for that i am uh, using prepared statement so deleting this one and I'm just using prepared statement prepared statement ps equal to uh, connection dot connection dot prepare statement okay I'm giving the the same uh, query here uh, same query copy it and paste it here no it shouldn't be inside uh, the double code so I'm just copying back it back and just giving a semicolon here so any other yeah it's okay now now uh, if I'm giving ps dot execute update it should uh, update uh, the table so it's execute update okay so it should insert the tab value now now going back to our project let me let it redeploy going back the project let me refresh this one and I'm just putting some random uh, string just click add yes it has been added I guess there is some error yes yes the error is in the index page we did not specify the value it is uh, category so it's uh, 
category dot uh, category name so it should go to category name as you, as you know it's category name let me refresh it again i'm just giving a random value again if i click here yes it's been added so the insert uh, option is also done okay now uh, going to my uh, database if i'm going to refresh this yeah both of the data has been inserted here now we'll go for edit and delete operations now first we have to give a uh, edit button in our page as you can see this is our uh, page we have to give an edit button here so i'm just copy pasting that one we have i have already written the code here so just copy this code come back here uh, and uh, after this category call I'm giving one more column so the heading is edit and I'm just giving a command button so this command button action is going to end a function a method edit category and I am passing a uh, this edit category is not there now I'll remove this for now just to run this okay and uh, the value is edit and I'm passing a parameter the serial number so here if I refresh this an edit button is com coming here and if I click this edit uh, the serial number of this electric this uh, category should pass to another page and from that page we'll go on we are going to edit uh, uh, the category name okay okay so uh, oh, I'm passing a parameter here which is actually the name I have given it as action as I have just randomly given that uh, it is action now in the category I am uh, writing a program a, a uh, method to receive that uh, to receive that uh, parameter from the JSF uh, page so so I am uh, giving that uh, yeah this one okay so this is edit category what I'll show I'll show you what this is actually so here I am pasting that edit category wait I'll paste it here. Okay, first is up. Okay, now in this edit ca category, if uh, the button is clicked from the edit category, uh, this faces context uh, I'm using to receive that parameter which we have passed with that button. Okay, so I'm just receiving that uh, it has the name I have given the action there. As you can see, I'm just receiving that action here and uh, setting to field SL number. Okay, now I'm just calling a DB connection and uh, just taking that category information with that DB connection and I'm just inserting that into a session map. Okay, so this is uh, from faces uh, context and this map is from uh, util. So just uh, import that Java util also and uh, you have to import that session map also so i already written that session map information just copying it and uh, pasting it here so we have imported uh, the session map also so that uh, this that particular object of uh, that uh, category with the name and SL number is saved in this session category and i'm just forwarding that information with that session uh, information into uh, another page known as edit xxtml okay so i want to create a new page known as edit xxtml so i'm just going to create a new JSF page and i'm giving the name as edit okay just click finish so inside this i just need a form just like uh, the front page here so i can edit the information which i have just passed from the uh, index.html so i am just uh, pasting that form just this one okay i'm just pasting that form here so this is uh, edit category okay so let it be in sender itself and uh, paste this to here now what it will happen is so once this is some error what is that yeah we have the faces core tag library we have to import the core tag library also i think from the index page we can import that core tag library yes it's here and let me paste it the core tag library here again now what is happening is from uh, this index page someone click the editor I am passing the serial number of that particular uh, object 
to this category again here I am receiving that from here and taking the details uh, corresponding to that from the database here I am just setting that uh, values in a, a session named edit category and I am just forwarding the page to edit.xstml let's see uh, till here it will work or not okay no uh, it, it won't work because there is no update category let me delete this one and let's check okay now uh, we are going to run this uh, I'm going to index and just click run on the index and uh, I'm not going to refresh this okay so all, all things are said let me add one more uh, category here just click add yeah it's working now if I'm going to just click the this particular uh, category so I'm just clicking edit it's not going to yes 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 I know what is the reason so in the index we have not uh, given the action uh, to it will be uh, the action will be to um, category edit category so I'm just copying that to this space and going to refresh the project again now if I'm going to click edit it should go to another page which is edit.xstml and uh, the information is coming here so going back I'm going to click on compute sense edit you can see it's going to another page and here if I'm clicking it's going to another page okay now if I'm uh, clicking this and if I'm updating some values here it should update in my database so in my database if I'm refreshing it this is these are the values now now let's uh, go for the update um, function okay as we see this uh, edit for button it will pass the serial number to this category and this edit category will fetch the details from uh, the database of that particular category and forward to edit.xstml okay and we are saving it in uh, edit category uh, session so in 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 index.xstml i am just uh, taking that value from edit.category session and printing there and again i am passing that parameter uh, to uh, through param as a uh, update excel number and uh, i should have an update category function so i have already written that update category function so the, here it is now i'll show you what it is i'm um, just pasting it in category update category here i'm pasting it uh, so in this update category same way i'm receiving the update excel number from this uh, page and uh, yeah, I'm just given a query to update category category name where SL number is equal to question, uh, the dynamic value. So I'm setting that category name and uh, update SL number. I'm just updating that values and going back to index.xstml. So this is pretty simple, nothing complicated. From in, I'm uh, giving a header here just to identify everything goes good. Okay, now in the header I am giving it as edit category. Okay, now yes, I think it will work. Everything will work fine. Let me uh, restart the project completely. Going back uh, to our yes, everything is loaded. Now I am going to edit one of uh, the this one computer science. I am just uh, uh, giving it as computer science updater. Now if I click in update, no, again same uh, problem we have uh, not specified and the action for the index update query because update category because uh, we just added that uh, method now. So here in the action, I'm just giving edit category, uh, update category, okay. Now let me refresh the project again, going back going back and refresh the project completely and now I'm just clicking this electrical now if I'm giving electrical update and now just clicking update as you can see it is updated so if I'm going information technology I'm just giving update if I'm clicking this again you can see it's getting updated I'm directly connecting to my database if I'm going to database and refresh you can see the information has been updated now the same way I'm going to implement uh, the delete operation now going back to the code in index page uh, I'm going to add one more column it's uh, a delete so this is pretty simple 
so I just copy paste and I'm giving the heading as delete now the value it's a delete <coughs> and uh, we have to pass the same way uh, the action in uh, the serial number of that uh, particular category now going to the edit category I'm just copy pasting same thing uh, here yes I'm copying paste the same thing and just need paste it and now I'm updating the name of uh, the uh, method as uh, delete category and delete category here I am just uh, getting that action uh, the field SL number of that uh, uh, category now I'm updating the query as uh, delete from delete from categories where SL number is uh, this one and no the results that won't work here because it's an update query so we'll have to check for the update query yeah let me copy this uh, prepared statement and uh, come back here now let me we not one statement let me delete all these even the map also now let me paste i'm just writing here delete from uh, delete from categories were SL number equals question mark so I'm just updating my SL number here okay so yeah it will update that I, I'm just giving it as a field SL number okay so I'm getting the uh, connection here I'm just uh, deleting this and I'm returning back to index.xstml okay now let's uh, try running this I believe this will work now going back to the index and uh, I'm updating the action to delete category no new braces now I believe everything will work going back the project let me rerun it completely okay the project has been loaded now if I am going to edit this first I'll edit this some data to uh, my name and let me update it and let's see yes it has been updated now i'm going to uh, delete this one the seventh one uh, q this one i'm going to delete if i click delete you can see it has been gone from the database so going back to our database again uh, let me refresh this seventh one you can see if I, i'm refreshing it you can see all the data uh, the data has been gone so that's all uh, for now about uh, the crud operation if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll be helping you i'll share this source code in my uh, website chillyfacts.com and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching.